Yeah, she didn't think I was going to be able to come in the back door. I got her. Almost set that alarm off. I have to fix myself. That's right. I can't run in this dress. What? No. You're supposed to run in that dress. I, I ran in this dress. How'd it work? Everything went all over the place. Oh, man, I was on the wrong side of the camera. <laughs> that ain't right. It's going to be a beautiful freaking Saturday. Yeah. Good morning, record store. So it's lunchtime, right? Yeah. I got a very important question. Yeah, what's your question? What the heck is that? It's Phantom Pineapple. So, pineapple is my favorite fruit. I like pineapple flavored things. Pineapple is just my fruit. <laughs> I thought you were a yellow banana. Well, my name rhymes with banana, but no. <laughs> okay, okay. I've never seen a pineapple Fanta before in my freaking life. You gonna try it? Yeah. It's caffeine free. Thank God, we don't need her crazy. Now, Fanta, it, aren't they like orange soda? I like yeah. Fanta orange soda. Yeah, it certainly smells very pineapple-y. Does it? Let me, let me take a smell. Oh. But normally, I, I like their grape one, and I like the orange one. All right, you got to give it a taste test. You definitely taste the spike. Like when you eat like a pineapple and sometimes you don't cut it fully, you can taste it. <laughs> All right. Are you digging it? Yeah, it's good. Just that aftertaste, you taste the like spiky part of it. Is it more like soda or more like pineapple? Uh, it's more like soda. They needed to add a bit more pineapple in my opinion, but it's pretty good. All right. I think if it, if it wasn't carbonated, it'd be amazing. But it's I don't think I've ever seen a pineapple soda before in my life. Where did you find this? Quick check. And I have it at Wawa too. Really? Yeah, and I think I tried it at Disney World once. What? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Is that... That's <laughs> right. That's right. So I got a weird album for them to review today. Bose XXX. I hope it's not too racy for the store, because it's XXX. Looks pretty cool. What type of music think it is? It, it looks... It's not giving me a lot. I'm going with Pop Rock. Pop Rock? Pop Rock. And it's a gold stamp promo. Yep, it, it's definitely got to be rock, but I swear I've seen a cover like this before. Peter Gabriel, yes. <laughs> Pete Townsend, Pete, uh, Pete Wolf. I have no idea. I've, seen, right. I've seen a cover like this before. We'll review it and let you know. What do you got there? We have Bose's album, Triple X, XXX. Okay. Was it XXX for real? It was not XXX for real. I got I a fact about this. I got a fact. I'm sure you do. Of course I do, right? Of course. of course. So going by the cover, after thinking about it, I was like, maybe it's like minimalist music. And I can get on with that because while there was a lot of stuff going on on the album, a lot of different genres, there weren't a lot of instruments. Okay. Nothing was overpowering. Nothing was extremely loud. It was very um, jazzy, easy listening, a little synth. I got this funny feeling that you just didn't like it. No. No. I didn't like it. The dude was too confused. It was like a mix between like R&B, jazz, rock, some pop. He was very confused and couldn't make up his mind. Hmm. I didn't hear any rock. But I definitely heard pop and synth and easy listening, jazz, Latin beats. It was really good. It was really interesting. And he has a great voice. You enjoyed it? I did. I did enjoy it. Not shopping music, though. No. No. All right. Really, 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 really good elevator music. Really nice elevator music. <laughs> wow. Or hold music. Wow. He's not yeah, going to... hold music. Hold, hold music. music. Relaxing. Like, smooth. This dude is not going to appreciate that review one bit, calling his stuff elevator music. Oh, no. Like, I'm saying it's oh, like... It's, <laughs> it's like high, high class type. I don't know. High All class right. type. He is a high class dude. Okay. Yes. Looking like it. He has a very plain cover. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Did you have a favorite song? My favorite song was Over My Head. Okay. Which is kind of funny because my least favorite song was The Hurt Party. Hmm. So he shouldn't have bothered with The Hurt Party. He should have just ended it with Over My Head. Did you have a favorite song on this yes, album? Yes, Big Fun. Only song I liked on there. <laughs> big Fun. Yes, Big Fun. And what was your least favorite song? Big City. <laughs> okay. I, I thought Big City was a great way to start the album. Hmm. No, I thought it was a horrible way. It yeah. did not work with it. It was not that great of a way to start an album. That's disappointing. 
Interesting. Any other information on this album? Can I see the record, please? And it, it is a gold. It's a ghost stamp promo. There's a there's a plus, right? <laughs> okay. Very cool. Bose, right? Bose. Not Bose, like the speakers. No, Bose. All right. All right. Very cool. Now, I have some crazy facts about this record. Yeah, I would love some facts. Really? I really yes. would. First off, mm -hmm. this dude is like awesome. Okay. You guys got no freaking idea. Yeah. All right. Miguel Bose. He is a Spanish pop new wave musician. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> and actor born in Panama City, Panama. Okay. All right. Bose grew up surrounded by art and culture. People like Pab Pablo Picasso and Ernest Hemingway. Yeah, like that. His mother was an Italian actress, and his father was a Spanish bullfighter. Oh, cool. Yeah. And his, uh, somebody else in his family was a very famous bullfighter as well. That's really cool. I mean, they're pretty much like freaking royalty. Latin royalty, I would say. Unbelievable. Well, see, not exactly elevator music then. Then the <laughs> music while you walk around and look at paintings. Well, it, it gets music. better. He started his career as an actor in 1971, but due to a lack of acting opportunities, he moved to music. Okay. He obviously worked with the best of the best. Obviously. You know, I mean, in Spanish culture anyway. Yeah. There is a list of names, but I would butcher them if I said them, and you know this. It ain't personal. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Bose was a major teen idol. You know how we have the Partridge family? Yeah. Yeah. He was the Partridge family of... Uh, Spanish culture and Italian culture and Southern Europe. Well, That's this guy I know right you can here. See half his face, but he looks pretty. I I hear you, and, and he was he was a good looking fella, and that was between the years of 1977 and 1982. By 1983, he focused mon <laughs> he focused mostly on the Latin American markets. Okay. After that, all right. Fun fact: You're gonna like this fun fact very much. Mm -hmm. In 2016, he released an MTV Unplugged. Awesome! Oh, that's cool. Yes. Most of those are good. Yes. So, he has 19 studio albums. Mm -hmm. 19 studio albums. A lot of them are not in English. This was supposed to be the one that came out, you know, and broke him to the American uh, audience. That's cool. Did it work? Uh, sort of. This is his ninth studio album put out in 1987. XXX was the title because he is 30 years old at this point. Oh, that's what so I was 10, thinking. That 20, it was the Roman numerals. Yes. Okay. Yes. But XXX, you know, it, it makes it sound like it's going to be... Uh, X-rated. Yes. And it wasn't, in fact. No, it was not. To promote this album, he cut his hair and combed it back and wore nothing but a black raincoat for a while. Okay. Does that make any sense, listening to the record? Yes, it does. I'm telling you, minimalist. Okay, so, so he's definitely an Apple product user. <laughs> <laughs> minimalist. All right. In my opinion, he was born into success and fame, but didn't let it go to his head. The dude knows how to work hard. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Bullfighting and acting is in his blood. Cool. I mean, come on. Anybody who's into bullfighting and his mama was a... Famous actress, mm -hmm. you know it's in his blood. Yep. Yeah. He's going to work hard, and he knows how to because he grew up show business. Mm -hmm. But that is my uh, fun facts for Bose Triple X. So we're supposed to call it Bose 30? I guess so. <laughs> Whoops. What do you rate the album? Um, One through ten. I, I give it a six. Six? Yeah. Like six, six, six. No, I give it a six. No, six. Like I would definitely listen to it again, but not every day. And unfortunately, it's not shopping music. It, I, it really is. Walk around with a glass of wine and look at paintings and sculptures music. Okay, okay. Give it a two. A two. <laughs> Why I, am, I am like it, like at all. I like that one song. That was where he got the two points. That was a good song. Now, it was it was produced by a famous producer. Mm-hmm. And supposedly, a lot of the other reviews that I have read about this album say, mm -hmm. you can totally tell that it was the producer's work. Tony Mansfield? Yeah. 
Now, there was also a guy who was listed under this one, but he wasn't listed anywhere else. So I'm kind of conflicted on, on putting out this fact because mm-hmm. I don't know it to be true or not. Gino Vanelli. Gino Vanelli did this album with him. Oh. And this was his second album for uh, Warner Brothers. Okay. So, interesting. Because he did have a contract. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. After you have that many albums, I mean, what else do you do? Yeah. So, all right. Bose. Bose. Now, world freaking famous dude, but a lot more famous in Latin America, obviously. Mm -hmm. Still performs to this day. Still rocking it. Obviously, the last album he put out was his... 2016. Unplugged. All right. Let us know down in the comments what you think of Bose. Check him out. He did a lot of work. Good luck finding him. There's like a zillion things. Right out in back of the record store. Not even 20 feet away from me. It's the one thing you gotta love about Pennsylvania. Maybe they want some records. They need some new music in their lives. Are we officially closed now? Yes. It is 7 o'clock on the dot. Yes, it is. Everybody's closing up their gates. We're done. <sighs> Hit it. All right, all right. Now we got to do awesome box of records next. Yeah, and they're awesome. That's right. That's Abba sitting here. Wow. That yeah, was a long day, wasn't it? I'm in the end. There you go. Arctic Monkeys. All right. All right. We definitely got some stuff. Kind of a crazy day. A little bit. Set in the back room most of it. We put out that Bose that we just reviewed. And we and we found the Jack and Joe that was in the back. So figure that one out. We temporarily lost it? Yes, we did. Now we found it. Yeah. All right. That's yesterday's stuff. Cool. All right. Now, didn't you have a record that you wanted? Yes, I did. Do you think it sold? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Yes, they would register most, of the, register most of the day. What's the name of the record? Fiddler. Do you have any of the other ones from them? No, I don't. I know we have them, though, but I don't have them. Mmm. Let me see which one you wanted. Oh, this one. How much is this going to cost me? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Good Lord. I can't even get to focus. You're lucky <laughs> for you. Yeah. All right, all right. Now, what's so special about Fiddler? Um, they're, they're punk. I really like them. They have a bunch of other stuff, but they're, they're harder. They're, they're good, though. If you're under 18, we don't recommend this. <laughs> but she's 17. What? And they have a song called Cocaine, which we have already went over and talked to her about several <laughs> times. You know, we're not into drugs at all, but we like crazy speed things yeah. for music. All right. So you're taking it home? Yes, I am. All right. You're going to do a review on it? Sure. On your channel? Sure. It's part of the condition. Okay. Do you accept my terms? Sure. Yes. We got a few of today's just price 45s. Like Slipknot. What? Yeah. Today's just price 45s include Slipknot. That's right. The Slipknot picture disc. That's right. That we have this many of. Yes. That we've had. Aliens. All right. All right. What do we got here? A few today's just price vinyl records. And, and they're awesome. <laughs> You got reversed. We switched. What? Yes. All right, what we got? Well, we have Sunflower by the Beach Boys, which is awesome. It's 1970, Psych Rock. It was their 16th studio album. Is that good on it? Well, it was not studio their album. best charting album. It was actually, out of their first 16 albums, it was the worst charting one. Really? Yes. It hit number 151. Okay, on the Billboard 200, I guess, yes. for albums. 151, so it was their worst charting album out of the first 16 albums. Is this the one where they wrote 9 billion songs? This is the one where they wrote 48 songs, and the record label didn't like most of them. And that's what they came up with? And that's what they came these up with. These were the compromises? Yes, these were the ones that the record label liked. Isn't that pretty interesting? Yeah, it's kind of hard for them, too. Yes, so think about how many they had written on pads. Exactly. That's why they put on another 16 albums. And toilet paper. Excellent. <laughs> George Michael. What? Do you know what that is? Because you gotta have faith, 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 faith baby. baby. Yeah. 
Grace Select. That's some that's some 1968. It's an original. Ooh. Yeah, it's the Great Society with Grace Slick. White Rabbit. That's and you know what it is? It's the two eye. Oh. So it is uh original from 68, Psych Rock. Okay, cool. Tommy Coombs. Mm-hmm. The Who? And then we're live at Leeds, and it's got five inserts. Five out of twelve. Oh. That's a lot of inserts. Mm -hmm. The Who? No, that's just the Any Who, I think. You might want to check and see if there's a poster in there. It feels heavy. There is a poster. There is a poster. There is a poster. I think we should unfold it. What's that? <laughs> there were papers in there. Okay, it comes what? with paper. <laughs> oh, man, we were going to give you a whole notebook, huh. apparently. 54. <laughs> 54. What? <laughs> 32. Points. Is that what was written as 54? Yeah, 54. <laughs> 32. All right. 28. Paper not included. We just took it out. Sorry. If it was included, let us know, but it wasn't. <laughs> all right. All right. Look how big his nose is. Don't make fun of me like that, man. I got a P-Town sit nose. Do you know today my mask was just being held up by my nose? <laughs> really? I didn't even right. tighten that sucker. My nose was just like a hook. <laughs> it was working. It's magic. <laughs> it was staying up there by frigging gravity. Weird. Now, I have, still haven't washed it, so it might be... Uh, Hardening. <laughs> the who? <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald. Nice. And we Elf. got Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> Blue Eye Circle. And they're? Live! They were live! Extraterrestrial. They were live! Live. That's right. It's the metal album. Ah. Yeah. Two, two record. B-52s. And you know what it is? Wham. Whammy! <laughs> Steely Dan. The, the Eagles. Eagles. And guess what? They, they were live! live. They were live! Okay. Journey. Do -do -do -do. Split ends. Ooh, the red one. Mm -hmm. Fog hat. Fog hat. Elton John. The Flying Burrito Brothers. No way, yes. we got another freaking Flying yes. Burrito Brothers? Yes. Thank God he left for South Carolina, or it's, did he? It's the last of the Red Hot Burritos. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Burritos. Little Feet. That's right. Melba Moore. Shick Tack. Shick Tack. That's me. Dave Mason's. And he, he was alive. He was alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. The Elvis Brothers. Stevie Wonder. Angel City. Tri tri triumph. Good Focus. motorcycle. <laughs> Night Ranger. Chuck Berry. Greg Kinban. That's right. That's the next of Keen. Ha ha ha. C Train. ABBA, Men at Work, Witness. Yeah, that's that one. We had another copy of it. That's right, it looks like a metal record, and it's totally not a freaking metal record. And they're like people. Don't be duped, people. Don't be duped. <laughs> they look all hard and stuff, and they're really not. And it says guilty. Very guilty. Mmm, he's guilty of love. Asia, Rockwell, Chris DeBerg, Cliff Richard, Bette Midler, Rod Stewart. And we got a rod. <laughs> rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. Oh, wait. That was live. It's absolutely live. It's live. Live. Absolutely. It was live. I bet you he'd be a lot of fun to go bar hopping with. <laughs> Probably. Just saying. I wonder, I wonder if we still got hair. <laughs> rod Stewart. Oh, I love this one. You gotta lift that out, man. This is this is unique and special. Group you know, with no name. yes. Yeah. I've been through the desert with a group with no name. No, it's a disco. This is the only album they ever put. I know, I know, CBGB, and it's a disco album. This is the only album they ever put out. Hmm. Believe it or not, I couldn't believe it. A yeah. group with no name. That sounds so awesome. Yeah. And wah wah wah. Flash dance. Flash. Emerson Lake and Palmer. Like the mechanics, Batdorf and Rodney, Leo Cody, 10 CC, Mop Tuple, and, and they're alive! They're alive! Uh, Richard Harris, <laughs> England Dan and John Ford Coley, Parker McGee, Culture Club, Culture and, Club. No, I've never seen that Culture Club. This one? And I don't think that's the one that came with the poster no, either. It's not, because this one's from like 1986, and the poster said 1982. Still got the hype and, and shrink. This is the record from 1982, but 
uh, it doesn't say that this one came with a poster. And the poster looks like it matches this one. He I know. It came out four I know. years earlier, so I don't understand. And we asked on YouTube, and somebody said, oh, the poster's valuable by itself, but that doesn't help me, because what album does well, it go maybe with? maybe it came out by itself, or maybe it was part it's of folded. a reissue re thing. It's folded like a thing, so yeah. it's like, hmm. It's rough. It's a rough life. <laughs> a little night music. Bert. Damn! Vangelis. Vicky Sue Robinson. Heat, Heat wave. wave. Do the hustle. Do, 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 do the hustle. Do, 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 do the hustle. Nice. You ever done the hustle? I don't know what that is. What? You can YouTube it and we can do it together. <laughs> you know what it could be? It could be the next TikTok dance. It could be. The hustle. You gotta do the hustle. <laughs> do you know how to do the electric slide? Probably. It it's sounds like uh huh. You down with this? Sure. See, I'm telling you. I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you want a paycheck, you don't. Linda Ronstadt, Rosington Collins Band, Ario Speedwagon, Jerry Rafferty, again, Richie Fury. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Which one is it? Transmission. No. No gentleman without weapons. That's right, gentlemen without weapons. What kind of gentlemen don't have weapons? I don't know. Because our isn't it the gentlemanly thing to smack with the glove? Yeah, you challenge somebody to, challenge to a duel. To a duel, but if you got right. no weapons, how are you gonna have a duel? So you go, you go, oh, psh, I psh. see? I I challenge you to a duel. Challenge you to a duel. Slap fight, slap fight, slap fight. <laughs> Hands flying. <laughs> you lose the news. Power up more. White heart. They say rollers. Nice. The fix. The gentle spirit. The power station. Little River Band. Never seen that Little River Band. Have you? Maybe once or twice, but... Maybe. James Taylor. Roots. That's not just any old Roots. That's Wait old a minute. Guy. What? Wait a minute. That's Quincy Jones Roots. And it's a white label freaking promo of Roots. That's right. With everything going on, man, you got to get your white label promo of Roots. We got it here at Spin Me Round. And four copies of Shaft. That's right. <laughs> Weather Report. Five McFerrin. Oh, and what? look, it's on that one. It's not supposed to be on that one. It's on this one, but see, the thing is, I was so super excited. I was like, it's oh, it's that thing. It's going to be, it's that thing. It's going to be a long version. It's a promo too, not for sale. But look, it's just the regular. It's, a it's his 12 inch. Yeah. But I mean, sometimes they do the extended singles and they're like 10 minutes long. And I was like, don't worry, be happy for 10 whole minutes. No. Three minutes and 45 seconds. Wah, wah, wah. I was so yeah, bummed. Disappointed. You have no <laughs> yeah. idea. Because remember we had that really awesome Bob Marley and Ziggy Marley and all sorts of different 12-inch singles that were like 10, 12 minutes long? Sure. I'm agreeing. Now, what happened to you today that was freaking pretty awesome? You made an Instagram post, didn't you? Oh, yes, I did. And the police heart-eyed me. That's right. That's right. The police... The police official Instagram... Heart eyes me. That's right. The police, police, not the police like the police, but Roxanne, police. Yeah, they hard eyed her. I felt so special. I'm gonna go find Sting. I'm gonna fuck. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> he don't have the hard eye, you man. What are you kidding me? The guy's like 96. <laughs> I, I've had worse things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. You work in this record store. That's true. Dion Warwick. Some days, man. <laughs> Brian sisters. Shakespeare's sister. That's right. Exile. Lover boy. Chris Christensen. Uh huh. JD Souther. Who's that guy? That's the guy I who told the Eagles how to write a song. So it makes absolutely no sense how he is not nearly as famous as the Eagles. Who? <laughs> <laughs> John Cougar Mellencamp. John Cougar Mellencamp. The Rascals. The Rascals. Donovan. Susan Croft. Dan Fogelberg. Air supply. Air supply. Oh gosh, I should have just kept it down there. Outlaws. Spyro Gira. Yep. Uh huh. Fifth, Fifth dimension. dimension. All right, all right. Ew. Oh. We still don't got no pole. And paper. And paper. All right. Did you see I won yesterday from the comments? Oh, cool. Got yes. A whole bunch of Stevie Ray Vaughan comments. I'm just yeah. saying. So if you want to pick something out really quickly, you can. If not, I understand, but hurry up and pick something. I yeah. don't understand. All right, Protocol Harem. Man. I can't believe we have this much still in here. Interesting. We did send out a new coupon. Check your emails, people. Oh, 
Only one or two people came in with a spin me around shirt today, huh? I think one. One? One. one. Man. I think we got a lot of international people, man. Do you know what we should do? We should just open up stores all around the world. Okay. You know what I mean? What okay. you got? I am Madonna. You better be like a virgin or I'm going to get you turkey. That's right. I said it. What you got? Like that song, Teddy. What's with you, <laughs> Me? Me? You're picking cocaine songs and, and virgin stuff. I just seen my favorite was Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It wasn't right. You know what you got to say, Rihanna? Papa don't preach. Papa is preaching, and I ain't gonna stop, and there ain't no control in me. I just said it. Oh, you're not one. <laughs> I am totally a virgin. That's right, it was an immaculate holy shit. Three times. That's right, that freaking mailman, when I find him, I'm gonna kick his ass. All right, top of screen to be nice. No, there won't. Fo for her Tom Petty in the comments, or her Madonna, I'm out of here. Goodbye. All right, we got that Rod Stewart box set up there. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna fix her butt. That's right. That's right. I'm totally taking this Rihanna CD. Oh my god, I hate her. She's the one who messed up my name. It's not spelled like that. It's not pronounced Rihanna. I'm, gonna, I'm totally Rihanna. gonna blast it in the car on the way home. No. Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A. Whoa. Who does this? I did. You know what? I'm done. You're fired. Fired. I said it. Fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. There goes my inheritance. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fiddler, I'm just going to take that one and go, boom. <laughs> That's right. That's right. How are you going to break my CD? Now you owe me like $18.99. <laughs> wow, talk about a temper tantrum. You're going to jail. <laughs> That's right. I'm calling in the fuzz, and they're going to tickle you to death. I said it. That's right. I'm going to have random strangers come in here and tickle you to death. That sounds horrible. What is wrong with you? That's what the police do. <laughs> Gotta go. All right. All right. Still got some stuff. Still got the Gigaton from Pearl Jam. Hailstorm. Another Pearl Jam. My Chemical Romance. Kate Bush. Circle oh, Jerks. Nice. Violent Femmes. White Stripes. Stone Sour. After the Burial. Yeah. Ten tons of stuff. Oh. I got something for her. I'm going to get her. I took another Rihanna CD. And there's no way for her to break this one because it's in a digipack cardboard case. Oh. Yeah, I'm smart. Aren't I smart? Yes, you're smart. She can't, she can't do nothing with that. No, I, no, I ain't giving it to you either, man. You, you ladies are nuts. I thought there was supposed to be some thunderstorms today. What the heck happened? They're supposed to be. I don't know. They said it was supposed to start at four, but I, I feel on. it though. You if feel it? A thunderstorm is gonna happen in the clouds. You know what I feel? What? We need an umbrella, Ella, Ella, hey. Best Rihanna song ever. What? what are they gonna do now? <laughs> so they're gonna leave us a comment. Let us know what their favorite record in that box was because you have really awesome stuff. You gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everybody likes thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And then you have to subscribe, 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 subscribe. subscribe. Ring, Ring that, that bell, bell. ding, 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 because we do a video a lot and we'll see you soon. You know, I think we're getting a little run down. Yeah. I think we're gonna take some days off next week. I hope so. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my days off, but I'm thinking about going kayaking mm -hmm. by myself. That's what? Safe? No, heck no. What the hell's safe about me? Aliens. Aliens.